All right, the first thing we want to do when we're going to be setting up and editing in Premiere is actually come into my computer and make sure that we have set up a proper folder in order to edit with. It's really important that we keep everything organized and all in the same project folder and not have full, uh, files all over the place in the, um, on the computer. So I have this one set up here. You're going to create a folder uh, with your name on it, and in that you'll put all of the projects you work on in this semester. Inside that, uh, create a project folder. And inside every project folder, you're going to create four folders, audio, export, footage, and premiere. I talk about this in the um, importing video that's made. This is just a quick review. Uh, make sure that any footage you're going to be working with is already in the footage uh, folder and start up premiere. Once premiere loads up, you're going to click on new project. You're going to click on Browse, find your Q drive in my com or in computer Q drive, and come down to um, Q drive block one or you, whatever your block you're working in, uh, your student folder, your project folder, and you're going to place this in your Premiere folder. Click OK. Give this a title. And then your sequence window opens up. And for anyone using the FS200s or a DV cam, uh, anything on tape, you're going to select either standard 48 or widescreen 48, depending on what you've filmed in. For the FS200s, it's widescreen 48, so we'll use that and click OK. And once we've loaded, this is our editing area. Um, what, we've got our one sequence here, and I want to import my footage. So I'm going to come down to Import, and I'm going to once again find this on Q Drive. And in my footage folder, instead of going in and selecting individual files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, and I'm actually going to click on that folder and import the entire folder. That'll take a little bit to load. All right, so once that's loaded, we're just going to twirl down our footage. And you can see here that um, if I double clip a, click a clip, I've got uh, it loaded in my source window. But we also notice that it's not widescreen and things looked a little squished, tall and skinny kind of thing. So I'm going to right click and come down to modify. Now, on uh, older versions of Premiere, you don't have the modify. It's, what you're looking for is just interpret footage. But when I click on this, it brings up the exact same menu. And the, so the main thing is you're going to go File, Interpret Footage, and come down to Conform To, and bring that down to widescreen. So when I click on that and click OK, this becomes proper looking and it's widescreen. And you can actually click on the top scroll down, select all of those, and do just do it in one big batch, and it'll do all of them. Uh, after you've done that, hit save, and you don't need to worry about doing it again. But So do that at the start of every project. All right, so the other thing that we want to take a look at is um, how do we start moving clips into our timeline here in order to edit. Um, so I'm going to scroll along here, and I can press play and listen. Go. All right, so that's the very start of where I want my guy walking. So I'm going to hit set an in point there, and then I'm going to scrub along and say I want to cut right there. I'm going to set an out point. I now have a highlighted section here that says this is what I'm. This is the clip I've selected, and I simply click and drag down onto my timeline. Now you can see this clip looks really small. If I come down, I can zoom in. I can also um, grab up here and zoom in and out. This isn't changing the length of my clip, it's just zooming in. So I can do that with a couple of clips. Drag and drop, and that's really editing that simple. And this is my finished um, window uh, where I'm actually watching what my sequence, what it'll actually play out as, and if I hit play, it'll work. Now, Things might run a little choppy or a, um, on a lower resolution um, if you're if you're working on a slower computer. Don't let that bother you. When you render out your final video, it will look uh, full resolution. So to render out a video, we click on File, Export, Media, and the Export Settings window opens. 
Um, we then want to go to format H.264, and we will use the YouTube widescreen HD setting. And then we also want to come down and uh, export this. We want to make sure that this is in our Q drive. Find the block, your student folder, your project that you're working on, and the export uh, folder. Give this a name. Your name should have the name of your project, underscore the name of everybody in your group. Hit save, and then you would hit export. I'm going to hit cancel right now because I don't actually want to export, uh, but you would click on export, and that will render out your final film. So that's about it for getting clips into Premiere, uh, e doing some basic editing and um, exporting. Check out the next tutorial video, and I'll go over transitions, uh, some color correcting, adding effects, uh, and a few more complicated or a little bit more advanced stuff uh, in the editing um, program.